What's up guys? King Hack is here. And I wanted to share with you guys, sometimes you are wondering how can I track my clicks and people that are opting in, if they actually did opt in. And I know there are other services out there where you can do this, uh, track the person that clicked on your link and where they're coming from. And those are great, but sometimes some people don't have, you know, the budget to play, uh, pay for one of those services, like I have uh, Click Magic. Maybe you guys heard of it. Um, it's, it's a great tool, right? But let's say if you don't have the funds to get Click Magic, you can still track your clicks and conversions with Builderall. And now, I didn't know this before, right? But I learned this. But you can track your conversions here within Builderall, uh, like over here. I have 221 conversions, 14%, not that high, it didn't do so great, but I'm going to be working on that, um, making sure it gets better, right? So with this webinar that I did, how did I do that? How can I see how many people have clicked on it and how many people actually went to the capture page uh, and put in their, their email, right? How many people actually clicked and put in their information? Right, so of course you'll know once you see on your email list that person's email but another way that you guys can do that I'm gonna show you real quick right here it says conversion test so the way that I did it I did it with an a B test you can do it with conversion right but I did it with an a B to see uh, how many people landed on the first version and how many people landed on the second version? So I have here, this is the overall chess desktop about 524, and then on the second version, 544, and then on the mobile, I have 224, and then 237. And then all devices total, uh, about 1,521 clicks for people that landed to see the the site and then about 221 they actually landed on the final page which would be this right here not thinking of my bad come here let me see yeah so they will land right here all right so builder all lets me do that and you can do it whether it's a b testing or you could do conversion test but like i said i had two different versions of a page and i wanted to see which one converted better so that on my next uh, launch of a webinar i'll know like well you know this one did better or the other one did better and then i'll do another a b test because you always want to be testing anyways always do tests now uh, i wouldn't recommend to do what i did you know, this is not the perfect conversion, um, not conversion, A-B test. When you want to do an A-B test, you want to do a slight change. You don't want to do a drastic change. Um, so definitely wouldn't recommend what I did. Probably that's why I didn't have great numbers. But, you know, it's, I'm always testing other stuff out, right? I don't follow the, the, the rules, right? But, um, you know, it's been tested. If you just test a few things like what I could have just done if I wanted to just change the color of this and do an A-B test and see which color of the button actually made people want to click right so then when I see the numbers I'll keep that one and I'll, I'll change maybe this right here maybe I'll just change that next time and then do a test and see and you work it and that's how you do an A-B test anyways but if you just want to do conversion right you would just go to your page register conversion test and you would create add so let's do testing one so this is the destination page where are they gonna land right so they're gonna land right here on the thank you page and then I would just press save and that's it and then it'll give me stats give me one second guys Okay, so as you see right here, we have it, but it's not going to work until you guys actually activate it. 
So you have to click this and put active, but we don't need it active because I don't want this to mess up my other stuff. Uh, let me see. That. Probably disactivated this one. Yeah. So you can only have one or the other, either A-B testing or conversion testing. Uh, conversions. Okay. Okay. My stuff is still there. Cool. So yeah. So remember, with, with A-B testing, you're going to have, let me show you guys right here. So the destination page, which is the thank you page, right? And then the second variation page, which is register B, right? Because I'm already in register one, right? I just register A. I didn't put an A, but and then the second page variation that is going to switch between would be register B, okay? But then if you just want to do conversion tests, meaning when they land on this page, um, how many how many people actually went in and landed on the second page? Then you would do a conversion and you would put the destination page which would be the thank you page and you save it okay so at least this way if you don't have the funds to track how many clicks um, and views are coming in at least you'll know uh, the clicks right? how many people are actually visiting your website and how many people at the end actually opted into your website and landed on the, on the thank you page you know you won't know where they're coming from you know like computer I mean you will know if it's computer or or phone because if you built it you'll be able to know if you build a mobile version and if you build a desktop version and of course if you build a lap a um, tablet but I only built these two because it doesn't I don't think I needed the tablet version because I make sure it stayed within my lines right here so, um, yeah, guys, it's a great way to find out, right, how many clicks are coming into your website and how many conversions people are actually landing on your thank you page or whatever product that you're doing. And if you want to know, you know, like the IP and stuff like that, that then that's when you need uh, different software like um, Click Magic and other tracking links softwares out there. All right. So hopefully this helps you guys out. And if it did, make sure you drop a comment and like and tag somebody that might need it. All right, guys. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.